So I'm willing to bet that you have at least one or two downloads on your site that you really hope people are downloading. But question, are they actually downloading it? I'm Olivia with Whole Whale, and today we're going to look at how to set up a download tracker in Google Tag Manager. Okay, but first of all, what is Google Tag Manager? So glad you asked. Google Tag Manager allows you to get even more granular with the activities and behaviors that you're tracking on your site through Google Analytics. We can set up events in Google Tag Manager that carry over to Google Analytics that are comprised of three sections. We have the tags themselves, which are the events that we want to be tracking. There are the triggers, which is what Google Tag Manager looks for to fire off an event. And then there are the variables, the pages that we want to be tracking this on, any other number of variables that you want to look at, Google Tag Manager has your back. But also, why would we want to track downloads? Why wouldn't we want to track downloads? If you are putting content on your site, especially content for download, I'm willing to bet that that is taking up storage, that is taking up page real estate, that is taking up mental real estate. Are you actually getting the return on this investment? This tag can help you with that. It's also super useful if you are running active media relations or public relations to see if people are downloading things like press kits, uh, high-res photos, any other number of things. So once you're signed into Google Tag Manager, uh, you're going to want to go to Tags and hit New, and then first right off the bat, just name your tag in line with what you want to track. We'll call this one PDF Download. And then choose for your tag type and configuration, uh, Google Analytics, Universal Analytics. And from there, we're going to track this as an event. Uh, that's how we want to track it in Google Analytics. In Category, we're going to type in Clicks, and in Action, PDF Download Clicks. Under label, we're going to want to open uh, the brackets, hit it twice, and start typing page path. It'll automatically come up. You can click on it from there. And we're going to want to make sure that our non-interaction hit is false, which means that this counts as an interaction on the website that we want to track that helps with lowering our bounce rate and getting a better understanding of how people are interacting on the site. We also want to make sure that our settings variable template is in place, and then we're going to add a trigger. We already have one set up for PDF download, but say we were doing this from scratch, really from scratch, uh, we would set this up as a new tag, focus on clicks being just links, uh, wait for tags, activate that, and it'll default to 2000 milliseconds or two seconds uh, for all of the tags that are used using this trigger to be ready. And then we also want to check validation because isn't validation always nice? Uh, we can set up this trigger so that the page URL matches regex uh, dot asterisk and then click URL uh, matches a PDF so that we can really narrow it down to just the PDFs. From there we can save both uh, trigger and tag and enter into preview mode and I have already pulled up a page that I know has a PDF option on it. This is our uh, guide for applying for the Google Ad Grant. And we can see for here, for instance, we have PDF download as a tag that is not currently firing on this page. I'm going to hit Command Open on this link so it goes into a new tab. And lo and behold, a tag that is now firing is PDF download. I can even get a little granular with this. I'm clicking on the tag itself. Uh, make sure that it is tracking in the way that we specified from the uh, from the configuration. So we can see that's working there with the action and label. And then from there, we can push this to go live. So are people actually downloading your stuff? That is a great question. And what can you do with the data once you start collecting it? Well, if you are doing something right, do more of that thing. And if you're not seeing the activity and engagement that you hope to be seeing, that is a perfect opportunity to start A-B testing your site or A-B testing your download call to action to see if you can get users that much further down your funnel of engagement. I'm Olivia with Whole Whale, and if you want to know even more about how to use a funnel of engagement or drive deeper impact with your website, we have a course for that on impact hacking. You can access it at wholewhale.com forward slash university, and you can even get a discount with the code WWVideo. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you soon.